Hi everyone, welcome back to TVC Tidbits. Andrea with you here today. And today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to improve your rock step in the East Coast Swing. So the first tip is to make sure that we are never sacrificing our posture. So I should be able to do a rock step and keep my posture the entire way through. Okay, so if I end up having to bend over to get more space, that means I'm going too far away from my partner. So keep your posture and let your arm flex and extend as needed. So on the same note, if, um, if you end up feeling that you're pulling or pushing, that means that the common center is moving, which we don't want. So when we go ahead and do this, I want to make sure that the common center, which is our connection hand, is not going to move. Okay, so I'm going to move my body away from my partner, away from the common center, and then move my body towards my partner. Away and towards. We don't want to be pulling or pushing um, or taking the connection or pushing the connection away. I'm letting my arm, again, extend or flex as needed. The last tip, when you're in a close position for the East Coast Swing, um, is to rotate your body slightly so you're not doing your rock step straight away from your partner. So if I go ahead and do this, I have a triple step, triple step. I'm going to turn slightly so I stay with my partner, do my rock step, turn back, triple step, triple step, rotate, rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step. So those tips again, make sure that we have this nice posture and we're moving away from the common center and towards the common center with our bodies and not moving the connection separately, as well as rotating ourselves when we're doing a rock step and not an open break in a closed dance position for the East Coast Swing. So that is all for today's TVC tidbit. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.